Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about ArcGIS Power BI Mapping Visualization. So this visualization allows us to have a mapping capabilities, demographic data, location analytics and spatial analysis tools. By using these tools, we can demonstrate patterns in and add the insights to the data. You can also create and view ArcGIS map visualization in Power BI service. This demographic data layer provides insights, for example, into how household income and the store location might affect the current sales and influence the future purchasings, advertising or a store site selection decisions. So let's get started. I am going to open up Power BI. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as I upload the Power BI videos regularly on this channel. So let's get started. Now here I am in Power BI desktop and I have a data set which has a location of stores like city. So we are going to use that. From the visualization panel, this is a ArcGIS map. Now, if you do not see it, then click on this three dot and click on this restore default visuals in the visualization panel. Now, let's click on it and resize it. And now you can see it's looking for a location. So, let me add city to it. And now I have my store locations available on the map. Now, uh, if I expand this map tools, then I have other options. So let's uh, explore them. Now, if you have an ArcGIS account, then when you pull this visual at that time, it will ask you to log in. However, I am using the standard version of ArcGIS without login. Now I'm going to add last year's sales to the size and you can see that it shows me the higher sales in a bigger bubble. Now I'm going to open up the format pane and show you how you can format this visual. So first of all layers. Now you can position here the layer window on the visual. So on the visual you can see this panel here and this button is belongs to the layers. So when I click on it, it shows me the layers here. So if the position is left, then it shows here. If I change it to the right, then it shows here. So I'm not going to change it, but this is the way you can change it if you want. Now let's open this map tools. So on the map tools, we have a zoom tool. So if I turn it on, we we can have these zoom buttons here to zoom the visual and there is a base map as well on. So when I click on this button, it shows different types of uh, maps here. So you can choose anything you like. Let me collapse these two panes so we can see it properly. Now the location type, you can use the individual country as well. Currently it's on the world, so it shows world map. Also, you can search the location in the search box. So we have a search box here and if I write it down, let's say Statue of Liberty. So it gives me the options and Statue of Liberty New York and if I select it, it shows me that location. Now let's click on the other options available here. So I'm going to click on this view layers. And as you can see here, currently uh, we added only city. So there is a city. And if you expand it, it will show you depends on the size. So we added a last year sales. It shows the bubble. When you click on this three dot, let's click on this. And there are other options, so symbology, clustering, location type, and uh, like labeling. So let's click on this first option. And as you can see that it shows location, single symbol. Then it, it shows heat map, 
it shows count and amount uh, map as well so currently we are on that if you select the heat map and now it shows like this if you select the location type symbol then it shows like this when you select the count and amounts map then it shows like this so because of we added a last year sales to the size it shows the higher sales amount here now the next button is uh, for the base map so we already understood how to change the base map now uh, next one if you wanted to add any demographic data then let's click on this and the first button infographics let's click on that and it shows couple of different options so the first one is population if i click on that then it shows me the options here and if i click on this 2024 key demographic and choose the option here 2024 total population and then population density as well then let's see what happens so now you can see here it shows me the current map view united states 2024 total population and then 2024 population density so this way you can add the other options as well like income or 2024 median home value and you can see here it shows the median home value and then 2024 per capita income so it shows per capita income as well so this way you can add the layers here now let's click again on uh, the symbol and the second option the reference layer let's click on that and now you can see that usa average household so 2020 usa average household income and if you add it to the map then it shows that data as well and now if i click on any location it shows me the id the name of the county the name of the state and then uh, the data related to it so 2020 total population and household income as well so you can see that it shows all demographic data that you can use for your data analysis so guys this is all in this video if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching